In the summer of 2009, my cousin Philip had come to San Antonio to visit me and my family uh, in the days before he was ready to go off to boot camp. And one of those nights, we decided to go see the movie Star Trek since it had just come out and we all wanted to see it. So we're at the theater and we're all waiting around in the lobby waiting for my dad to arrive. And uh, the thing about this movie theater is that it has tile floor. And tile floor is much, much harder than human teeth, which is significant because uh, while we were out there waiting, my cousin Phil had locked his knees while standing there. And subsequently, he passed out. And like a tree hitting the ground, he face planted into the tile floor. And he knocked out his two front teeth and shattered the two teeth that were on either side of those. And so uh, it was a pretty gruesome sight, blood and teeth everywhere on the floor, but uh, got him in an ambulance, sent him to the emergency room with his teeth, you know, in the hopes of them getting saved. But we go to the emergency room to see him and we get there in time to see the doctor trying to shove teeth back into his gums and the teeth are just not staying. You can see them slowly inching back out because the nerves and everything is just way too damaged. But uh, Phil says, never mind, just take them all out. So we finally get him home, like past midnight or something, minus four, four front teeth. And it was amazing because during the entire thing, he wasn't that upset. He was, of course, somber and pretty serious, but he was cracking jokes and trying to make the rest of us feel feel better about the entire situation. And uh, so we all go to bed, and then the next day we ask Phil, like, what do you want to do? And he says, I want to see Star Trek. And we say, are you sure we can do something else, anything else you want to do? We can see a different movie if you want. And he says, no, like, we all wanted to see Star Trek, and we're going to see Star Trek. So we head out to the exact same theater to see the exact same movie at the exact same time of day in the hopes that round two goes a little better. And it does. No one passes out. No one loses any teeth. And we're able to enjoy this movie for free since yesterday the managers had basically shoved like 10 passes of free movies into our hands, you know, in the hopes that we wouldn't sue or that we would come back. And um, uh, we were able to enjoy the movie. And it amazes me that my cousin Philip was able to have such an amazing attitude about the entire thing because, you know, he had just lost four very important teeth in his mouth in a very gruesome and extremely painful way. And he knew he looked pretty ugly with those teeth missing. And he also knew that he still had to go to boot camp and survive the entire thing without those teeth. And the entire time he's just saying, it could be worse, it could be worse. And I'm thinking, how could it possibly be worse? But um, he definitely taught me that, you know, to never let anything slow you down because the situation could be worse. There's nothing to do but to just keep smiling about it even if you're missing some teeth. And uh, his attitude makes me believe that in any situation I am in now, even if it's not the greatest, I can say it could be worse.